Hey, this is Ryan from RIP TV, checking in from Interbike Day 1. Here we are at the indoor show with Darcy from Rocky Mountain. He's going to tell us about the new Slayer. It's a very hot looking new bike from Rocky this year and they're ready to launch it here at Interbike. Well, uh, yeah, this is a uh, new Slayer and uh, it's our 6-6 six and six all mountain platform uh, bicycle. It's uh, designed pretty much for whatever you want to throw at it. Um, it uh, pedals great. Uh, uphill descends awesome. Uh, it's very stiff. It's lightweight. Uh, it's specced well. It's a hot paint job. It's got pretty much whatever you need. Well, what's sort of uh, different uh, from previous uh, like Slayers? Um, well, from the previous Slayer, it is. Uh, I guess you'd say it's significantly different. Um, this whole bicycle is designed about the uh, shock, which is the the frame's heaviest component. And uh, the first thing we did was we put the shock low and center on the bicycle and then basically designed a bicycle around it. And obviously having a low center helps you on the tight switchback style turns. <laughs> well, uh, basically there's, there's, there's a couple important design features that we'd like the public to be aware of. And uh, so we're calling the Slayer Suspension LC2R. Um, and that's an acronym for low center counter rotating. And uh, so you have a triangulated swing arm, and if the if you can picture the wheel flexing laterally, you get stiffness contribution through the double row angular uh, uh, bearings at the main pivot. But you also get stiffness contribution through the one piece top thrusting link uh, working on the top link. Last year's uh, Slayer was a very laterally stiff rear end, and uh, we at Rocky feel it's important that. Uh, the wheel has a bit of flex in it. Um, the wheel does carve a bit like a ski, and uh, these are these are definitely important riding characteristics that uh, Slayer and bikes like RMX have been designed around. Uh, there's a couple other things that we move to the front end of the bike. Um, we have uh, Rocky Mountain designed uh, tube sets uh, made for us by Easton. Basically, the down tube is a, is a square to a trapezoid with uh, internal flare at the head tube for crown clearance uh, as opposed to a bend and then the top tube is bent for maximum standover. We have a lot of guys riding this bike uh, from the all mountain to uh, more aggressively set up downhill and uh, and we're just spanking it and the thing's holding together awesome. Cool so there's you were saying there's four different Slayer models how much do I have to spend to get into one of these bikes? Uh, well, we start out at the Slayer 30 at the uh, $2,100 uh, US price range and up at the, uh, the Slayer 90 at uh, 4400 So here we are at the Rocky booth, track down Richie Schley, Freeride Grandmaster. He's going to uh, tell us more about the new Switch and just some of the refinements they've done to the bike for this year. How's it going? Good, Rich. Yeah, I've been riding the new Switch for uh, a few months now and it's uh, big improvements. It's really cool. We got um, co completely changed the link plates so they're uh, wider, a little more stable, and cool current look. We've got uh, external bearings instead of the needle bearings, which makes it a lot more stable, less flex in the bike too. Uh, the pivots have all been changed to, a, to be lowered and more centered, so the bike feels better, feel, the suspension feels better, feels a little more like the ride of an RMX or something. I was noticing these, uh, you know, this nice Rocky Mountain logoing here. What what's going on with the strut plate there? Well, the strut plate's thicker, and the uh, the Rocky Mountain logo piece actually uh, solidifies the plates together. So there's less flex again. The bike's way more solid. Um, sloping top tube is good for tricks and standover height for people that are challenged like by that, like myself. And uh, you know we've. We know what the freerider likes. We're trying to give them uh, another bike that fits the category well. Got some stealth, low-key colors, more travel. It's seven and seven this year, so I've been riding it. It's uh, it's really good. Kind of great slope style bike, great all-around bike. It's specced with um, two chain rings because you can use it in that capacity all day long. You can ride the bike park, or you can climb up uh, Grouse or Seymour or whatever, and it's. It's a pretty good bike for that, for sure. Awesome. So what do you got here, Richie? This thing's looking pretty stealth. This is this is actually called the Stealth. It's the Switch Uzi. No, but it is, uh, we're calling it the Stealth, and uh, it's a Switch, doesn't have any deckling on it. And again, we uh, 
We know that the free ride guy might not want to be um, toting the logos everywhere and looking like everybody else. So uh, we're offering the option to have you know a frame only. It's cool matte black. It's only got a front badge on it, and um, I think it's a step in the direction of saying that we're really committed to uh, making cool stuff. You know? Yeah, dude. Weapon of mass destruction here. So now Richie's showing me the RMX 1.0 for this year. It's looking pretty cool, Richie. What are the, some of these like new products I'm seeing on here? I've, I've never seen like this pedal and, or even this chain guy. I've never seen any of this stuff before. I think this is the first uh, spec bike with the new race face chain guide. And uh, this pedal is a uh, Rocky Mountain pedal. Pretty cool. It's, it looks like a lot of the really good pedals out there. We got a brand with the little fro on it. It's very thin. You can uh, change out the pins with a wrench, not with an Allen key, so a little easier when they get bent over or whatever. But uh, the, bike, the RMXs are, are so dialed, they look really great. Again, nice low key colors for the, for the guy that doesn't want to be the bling blinger out there. And uh, this bike rides unbelievably well. It's, it's definitely my favorite. So, uh, Richie, what's going on for 06? You got any big plans? I know I see you around Whistler all the time. What's going on? Well, I'm just going to keep working with Whistler and uh, basically the bike park right now, if you haven't been up there, you got two more weeks. It's unbelievable. It's pretty quiet. Traction's awesome. It's not too hot. Um, the Garbanzo area is so good. You don't even need to go to the bottom these days, like freight train and all that is just so good. And so I'm just going to keep working with the bike park and trying to evolve that make Crankworks bigger and badder than ever next year. It's going to be a nine-day festival, so uh, there's going to be more races, more free ride events. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, well, the park was unreal this year, man. Thanks for all your hard work. Cool. Take it easy, man. See you later.